Hey, welcome to the CAT booth. I'm here talking to Joel Fritz. He's a product application specialist for Caterpillar's small track tech tractor line. We're talking about the D5, D345 K2 models. We didn't change the nomenclature, but they stepped up to tier four final. Uh, but they also brought some technologies that are making uh, inexperienced operators able to get to ex uh, their, their specified grade faster. Joel, tell us about those technologies. Yeah, well, you're exactly right, Larry. What we are doing is trying to make the machine easier for that new operator to run. Some of the technology features we're using now are called slope indicate, which basically the operator now, standard equipment, can look at the dash and determine what slope the machine is grading to for main fall, which is fore aft, and also cross slope. Mm. Then the next level up is our slope assist feature. And that allows the operator to actually control the slope automatically to what he would like to grade to. Right. So slope indicates standard on these machines, and, and the machine will tell you what your slope is. And slope control allows you to set something to, that will automatically adjust the blade no matter how aggressively or lightly you're, dig, you're, you're digging, it's, it's gonna, gonna keep that blade at the same slope. Exactly, Larry. When you order the AccuGrade Ready option on mm -hmm. a D3K, D4K2, or D5K2, you automatically get the slope assist feature. Okay. And that allows you to determine what grade or slope you would like to operate to automatically and it would work off whatever your last input was to the uh, blade control. And the next level up is our advanced mode of slope assist where you can actually go into the display that's on the tractor and set a target main fall slope and also a target cross slope. And when you click into automatic, the machine will automatically grade to that specific target slope. Wow. Okay. And there's there's kind of a cost advantage here. You know, if you're if you're thinking down the road, you might want to go to a a, a full grade control uh, um, system on a machine like this. If you start with that ARO and and get the uh, slope uh, slope control, you get you get a, a pretty good cost savings. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. Absolutely. We have a lot of customers that are running GPS grade control already, but there are also a lot of customers that haven't been able to see the value and the investment in GPS. And what we've done is offer some of that value in a lower price point, which is slope indicate and slope assist. Mm -hmm. So you're in the neighborhood of $6,500 list price with this slope assist uh, option compared to the higher value add items such as AccuGrade GPS at say fifty to sixty thousand dollars. Right, right, right. And, and if you've got controllers for AccuGrade for another machine or something like that, once you've got slope assist, it, it's pretty easy to, to, to plug up the electronics and go straight to, to full control, right? Absolutely. If you notice the machine behind us, we do not have any mask on this machine that we're uh, talking to right now. So it doesn't have any of that grade control electronics on it. But if you choose to do so, you could add it to the machine with that particular attachment. Right. Okay. All right. So, what else uh, came with the, this this most recent upgrade to the to the K2 yeah. small turret tractor? Some other things we're trying to do, Larry, to help improve the operator's efficiency and also operating costs, such as fuel or whatnot, was automatic traction control. All right. On the former model, we had traction control, but it was manually activated. And what we're trying to do now is let the machine think for itself. Now it's automatic. The operator doesn't have to worry about activating the traction control. So so the big benefit to the operator is he doesn't have to lift the blade or make as many blade control corrections whenever the track starts to slip. Okay. The machine re reduces the amount of track slip, the operator doesn't lose as much load, and he's more productive. And along with that, some other benefits are less track slip equals less track wear mm -hmm. and also better fuel economy. So the combination of all those things is yeah. real benefit. How's the, the traction control system work? Is it, a, is it a speed sensor on the tracks? or? Yes, yeah, speed sensor is part of the functionality of how that system works. Actually, we're able to combine the information from the engine and then also the transmission and be sure those two systems are working together to provide the best efficiency and reduce the amount of track slip when it occurs. Mm -hmm. Are you, you breaking a track that at, that's slipping or, or reducing power to it? Well, we're probably doing a little bit of both there oh, by okay. reducing the amount of power 
to that specific track okay. while not reducing the amount of horsepower. Is that a system that can be overridden? I mean, if somebody decides they don't they don't want it on, is that uh, can they turn it off? It is a system that can be uh, turned off by the operator. We have a switch on the right hand console. The operator can simply press that switch if he chooses to, mm -hmm. and it will deactivate the automatic traction control. Right, right. So this this is a kind of a, a addition to technologies that were really designed to uh, help operators improve operators' ability to, to reach grades that were on the, the K2s previous to this, what, what was stable blade, and and I'm sorry, you're going to have to help me out with the rest of the features the features that were there, Joel. Yeah, stable blade was one of those. Also, eco mode, we had that for reduced uh, fuel consumption and better fuel efficiency. And the nice thing about... Um, uh, automatic trash control is the operators are telling us you know you don't have to lift or make as many blade corrections so they're not fighting that blade as mm. much to try to continue to load and that's one of the key inputs yeah. that we've heard so far.